and welcome back to another edition of the big match. Well, this weekend we're back at East End Park as Ross County come to play Dunfermline Athletic. The hectic period of the January transfer window is now over, with today's teams both having made additions during the month of January. Today's home side, Dunfermline Athletic, kept it the latest though and signed both Bruce Anderson and Ryan Blair to bolster their squad ahead of this weekend's game. In the previous meeting at East End Park, Ross County came away winners that day with a goal of the season contender from Josh Mullen. Will any of the team's January signings help their team today? Well, it's time to find out as I hand you over to the match day coverage, live from East End Park. Bring on the action! <sighs> the day's not really been my day. Woke up with a said heed in that and it's freezing cold and I'm not very optimistic about this game coming up. No seen the line-up yet. I'll give you my thoughts after I've seen that. Hey, Lee Robbins is sitting out the day. Well, it's nice that he's getting involved with the kids and that wee mascot. Seems to not getting involved in anything. It's like he's been a bit frozen out. Starting lineup includes new signing Bruce Anderson, so he was never injured. So didn't listen to anything you hear. Basically, just didn't. Four four two, Higgy on the right one, Anderson and Elbert two up front, and there's a foul on James. Nah. Oh. oh. Nice to see us actually shooting. <laughs> oh, good save for Scully. Oh, right, boot him. Get him in the boot, man. Oh. There I go, Ross County free kick. Dental McManus. Right. Nothing to worry about. Bruce is right through. Go on, Bruce. Go on, Bruce. Man. Good luck, Joe! Go on! Oh! He's got some shot on him. Bruce on it! Go on, Bruce! Go on! Go on, son! Oh! Man! That was good play there! For fuck's sake! He's instantly a better option than what we've had. Oh no! Oh! Divine! Oh, that was disgusting! Go on, Bruce! Go on! Ah! I saw him had about three chances now, man. Come on, Come on! I can give me a bit of a link up there for Bruce Anderson. Okay, he's getting involved with Fines all around. Make a run off Fines all from me, actually. Past and stuff like that. It's not just a case of the two strikers are staying running a bit. Anderson's actually making incisive runs. Fines all gone, Bruce! A goal at long last, eh? Good unit that. Bruce Anderson's been brilliant so far. Half time. Good half. Very good half. Number 10, Declan McManus. Not the best return for our deck. Surely he was offside! Surely! Surely he 
Rams offside. Goal, it's a goal. Goal! Oh, yes, Cregan! Yes! Yes, Cregan! Brilliant defending. I was certain it was a goal. Cregan was brilliant. Offside! Hey! Brilliant! Brilliant! Yes! This is so what Vincent Roy does here. <laughs> Substitution for the Pen of Letting Lee in the field number 18, Faisal Elbag Tui. In the first by number 23, Callum Smith. Second substitution for the Pen of Lee in the field is here for number 12, Bruce Anderson. In the first make off, still making his East Africa debut, number 35, Ryan Blair. Oh, good defender. Why is no one in anything, man? Didn't he end up on a goal? No, no! That's your fault again, Bob! The score is number seven, Michael Gardine. It's an absolute shambles, man. As far as I know, other teams will also run in there. I'll have a draw, but. The subs have been absolutely horrendous. Smith is never going to get in up front. Substitution for the Fem Athletic Lean in the field number 28, James Cregan. Been replaced by number 15, Miles Hippolyte. Williamson! Oh! Oh, and it's moving a corner. That would have been some laugh if he'd got the running goal. Well, look, equalizers. One goal, listen to me. Right, I'm not coming here to maybe pick out that game because at the end of the day everyone can have their own opinion on it. I'm here to basically just say that I'm going to take a week off uh, posting videos and posting on social media in general. I'm not feeling it and I feel like I'm maybe putting myself too much in the limelight and making myself feel like I've got a bigger platform than I do and that's maybe hindering what I say online sometimes and stuff like that and I just want to kind of take myself out of it for a week or so and I'll probably come back with a vlog next Saturday for whatever game I choose to go to, because obviously Don Fenland don't have a game. That game of the day wasn't very enjoyable um, in the second half, at least it was very enjoyable in the first half, we played really well. But um, I just wanted to kind of finish this video on a wee kind of down or not I suppose, but I'm not really up for continuing to post for this week. I don't think it's good for me and um, aye, I just want to kind of take a bit of a break for it, because I've done it for weeks on end now and I just feel like I just need to take a rest for it. I wasn't feeling great the day and if I'm being honest I feel sort of a wee bit worse now just because I just feel like social media isn't the place for people when they didn't feel great about themselves and I that's basically all I've got to say about it. I'm not going to give my analysis on the game though. There will be no last word, punt it long or a Friday video. The next video might be uh, a match day vlog for next week's game, whatever I want to go to as I said. But I um I, this is it then, so I'll see you next week, but I, until the next video, I'll see you then. Cheers guys.